close your eyes, take a good long deep in-breath and out-breath. Notice where you feel the breathing. Each time you breathe in, breathe out, let your attention stay right there. And make sure the breath is comfortable. After all, no one's forcing you to breathe in a way that's uncomfortable, so why let the body do that? Here's a way you can find a sense of well-being immediately, right here, right now. It doesn't cost anything. All it requires is some attention and some continuous attention. Remember, this is a gift that you can give yourself. Actually, happiness in general is a gift that you give to yourself. All too often we think that happiness is something that comes from outside. We come to the monastery, we hope for a blessing. And the monks are happy to give blessings. But the real blessing is the one that you give to yourself. When you're being generous, when you're observing the precepts, when you're meditating, you're giving yourself a, hap a gift of happiness, a happiness that's harmless, a happiness that lasts. That's the best kind of happiness there is. The happiness that comes from things outside, it's just basically it comes from your past actions. You don't have much control about which actions are going to be sprouting at which time. Good, bad, whatever. But you can have some control over what you're doing right now, so that if bad things come, you don't get blown away by them. If good things come, you don't get blown away by them either. If you get blown away, you tend to get careless. So you want to maintain your stability, you want to maintain an even keel. In this way, no matter what happens outside, you're, you've got a source for happiness right here. And it's not a selfish thing to be giving yourself this kind of happiness, because as I said, the happiness is harmless. At the same time, you're a good example to others, and you're not weighing on them. The Buddha gives an example of two acrobats. One acrobat is standing on the shoulders of the other one. And one acrobat says, okay, you look after me and I'll look after you, and that way we'll come down from the pole. They were standing on the tip of a bamboo pole. We'll come down from the bamboo pole safely and get our reward. And the acrobat that was on top said, no, that's not going to work at all. I have to look out after myself, you look out after yourself, and that way we protect each other. In other words, if you really do care for yourself in the right way, look, look after your happiness in the right way. It's going to be there for the advantage of others, make life a lot easier for them. In other words, you look after your sense of balance and they look after theirs, and that way you protect each other. So try to make sure that you give yourself a gift of true happiness. Give yourself a blessing every day. You don't wait just for the beginning of the new year and hope for a blessing from somebody else. It's your actions, the things you do every day. That's your blessing. So ask yourself, are you giving yourself a good blessing or a bad one? Sometimes we do things that's hardly like a blessing at all, it's more like a curse. So you have to be very careful about what you do, what you say, what you think. That's your blessing as you go through the year.